What's up, beautiful people? Tom Mish just dropped this track, and I'm going to break it down for you. First, I'm going to play through it, and then I'm going to explain how each idea works. This song is a one chord vamp over E minor 9 with a half step movement at the end of the second bar on the and of 4. Let me show you that real quick. So we have E minor 9 on the 7th fret and we'll count it like this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and one. Just real quick up a half step on the and of 4. 3 and 4 and 1. And that's the main chord progression going throughout the whole thing. Although you could say the song is an E minor, it really has a very suspended feel. Now what does suspended mean? It means lacking the third, which makes it either a minor or major chord. And typically our suspended notes are the second or fourth scale degree. So if we think about our D major chord that we know, and we think about our D sus4, with the pinky down or D sus2, what that refers to is a scale tone of the second and fourth scale degree, which create those suspended chords. So if I find the second scale degree of E, F sharp, and the fourth scale degree of E, A, that's halfway towards a D major chord, which is exactly what he plays in the wah guitar part, this D major triad at the 10th fret. And that gives it more of a suspended feel and really just highlights that, that harmony. Now throughout the song, he has this recurring lick that just has this weird funky effect on it that sounds like this without effects. And basically what that's doing is it's going between the D major chord and the E minor chord. So first I'll show you the lick, then I'll show you how each of the chords are built around it. Starting in the 14th position, Now with each of those movements, you want to see the chord that's built around it. So with this first part, I have a D major triad on the top four strings, and my pinky um, is also part of that. So the first three notes. Sliding down to the 14th fret, I have my E minor 9 shape. Then now. I want to see my E major triad over that. That's where the F sharp comes in. And from there, my E minor shape. And at the end of the song, it starts to get a little bit of a heavier feel with the distorted guitar coming in, playing E to G to A. Bringing in a classic rock progression like that with a distorted electric guitar immediately gives it more of that energy, that attitude that you feel throughout the end of the song. I hope you got some cool ideas out of this. Be sure to subscribe to support the channel. Like and comment if you have any thoughts or uh, questions that you have. And be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below. If you like the backing track that I made from the beginning, uh, you can get access to that and a bunch of other cool backing tracks and exclusive lessons. So keep jamming that guitar and stay nasty.